everybody, it's Gary Vaynerchuk, and this, my friends, is Wine Library TV. Get ready to expand your palate. And today I promised a bacon episode, but unfortunately, stuck in New York all day, but I figured, you know, I need to pump out the content. I can't leave the Vaniacs hand, hanging, or handed, hanging, and uh, I figured, why not get in the kitchen and kind of show everybody, you know, maybe a new concept I can do once in a while when I get caught like this, have something called, uh, what am I drinking, right? So, you know, I figured what would be pretty cool is for you guys to see the wine that I'm drinking actively. And so what I'm drinking at home right now is the Chateau La Tour Martillac, uh, 2004 vintage. I don't know if you can make that out. Um, it's a Bordeaux from the Pesach, um, you know, Grave region. In, um, in, in Bordeaux, uh, I'm going to pour myself a little bit here in my stemless glass, which I use at home quite a bit, so that will be worth some comments, I'm sure. And then I did some homework for you guys um, on my computer before I went on. I got an 88 in the Spectator. Um, I got an 85 from Robert Parker. It's selling for anywhere between $24.99 and $52.99, depending on what store you shop at. And, kind of weird, and right before I went on the air, I realized... I reviewed this wine before because I was at La Tour Martiac back in July, and correct, I was. So, Mott, link up this episode, episode 503, for an in-depth tasting uh, at La Tour Martiac. So, I did do the 2004. It looks like there it is. But what will be interesting is, how does it compare? I didn't watch it. I don't really truly remember. I know I like 2004 in general. Um... As a vintage, I think it got completely underrated because of the 05 hype. This is the third day I'm drinking this wine. So you can see, not drinking too much, slowly but surely drinking along. And uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, oh, let me show you this. I know I always talk about it. Um, oh, am I out of Captain Crunch? God darn it. Yeah, Captain Crunch is gone. I just want to give a big shout out to Captain Crunch. Best cereal ever. Anyway, let's uh, set this up. 2004, Latour Martiac, third day opening. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. A lot of black fruit coming through. Um, it's opening up quite a bit more than it was yesterday. First two days acted quite a bit the same, but here it's opening up a little bit more. A little dustiness coming through. Black cherry, black fruit. Good nose, really starting to hit its stride on its third day. Let's give it a whirl. tannins, nice richness. Um, I'm really into the wines of the Grave. You know, you get the big Oprion and La Mission Oprion. Um, but wines like La Tour Martillac are, are quite fun. Pop Clement's gotten expensive, unfortunately. This one has good richness, good depth on the back end. Really black cherry coming through on the back end. Also get a little bit of an olive play. Olive is kind of a lot of fun. And uh, I enjoy olives. So, uh, Definitely getting that on the back end as I open up. Very similar to the way it's been across the last three days. To me, still an 89, 90, 88 point type wine all three days. But good richness. If it's $24.99 for a Bordeaux from an 04 vintage, I'd be very happy. But to be honest with you, I'm drinking a lot of 04 Bordeaux. I think 2004 Bordeaux has enormous value in it. Still a great play. Uh, this wine would probably age for another five to seven years and definitely would go well with a lot of different steaks, uh, you know, big meals. Let's see what I got in the fridge. I think Lizzie's going to kill me. Um, you know, it would probably go well with this orange juice or some of the wines up here. Uh, lots of eggs. My dad has chickens. Lots of eggs. Big, uh, big strawberries. Little Hershey syrup. And yeah, drink a little beer once in a while. Don't be scared. Anyway, would go with a lot of different foods. Um... I kind of enjoy this wine. I'm really enjoying it. For a third day wine, I'm, I'm really liking the length. Let me give it one more shot. Nice roundness. And still good firm tannins. Five, ten years more. You know, definitely meats, pigeons. I, I think a lot of meats and pigeons. Uh, I feel like I'm an ogre. Um, meats. Um, a nice bottle of Bordeaux. For $25, definitely not the $50 price point that's out there. But for a $30 play for Bordeaux, for that essence, getting a little bit of that mushroom fungus. Love the olive play in this. Blackberries. A little dustiness, which I like. Um, I would say this is a killer wine. I like it, but I don't love it. 
I think it's missing a little oomph in the mid palette. Um, it could come together a little bit more. On the third date, it's probably the most opened up. The majority of you would drink, pop, and pour. And the way that acted the first couple days was okay. Uh, I'm going to go 89 plus points on this wine, though. I'm, I'm a little more bullish than Parker and Spectator on this wine, especially because I'm so into olives. That's it. Question of the day. What is sitting on your counter right now at home? What are you drinking? Sorry I kept it tight, but I thought it would be better than doing nothing at all because honestly, I miss you guys and I hope you guys are doing well. And I'm coming back with the bacon show tomorrow, I promise. Uh, see ya. Hope you, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world.